Have you been feeling lately that your hard work always seems to wear you down? Have you been feeling more and more exhausted? And worse still, has this exhaustion seeped into areas of your life outside of work? What is burnout? The International Classification of Diseases defines burnout as a syndrome conceptualized as resulting from chronic workplace stress that has not been successfully managed. In other words, it's a response to prolonged job stress. This applies whether your work is at the office, in school, or at home, like if housework or caring for family members is your main job. Although it is an occupational phenomenon rather than a medical condition, the struggles that come with it are very real. It's important to be mindful of the causes and habits that may lead to burnout, to best care for your own mental health. With that said, you might be engaging in habits that are bringing you closer to burnout, even if you don't realize it. So here are six habits that are making you burn out without realizing it. Number one, neglecting your physical health. Do you not get proper sleep? Or perhaps skip a few meals here and there. Skipping a few meals may turn into losing your appetite altogether and weight loss. A few sleepless nights may turn into chronic nightly insomnia. Lack of proper sleep and nutrition can lead to physical weakness and a compromised immune system, which can then cause other physical symptoms of burnout. It's important to address signs of trouble with sleep and appetite early on and ensure that you get enough rest, nutrition, and exercise to help prevent your stress from worsening into burnout. Number two, allowing negative feelings to fester. It's normal to sometimes feel nervous, sad, or angry, but it's important to take note of persistent anxiety, sadness, or hopelessness, as well as irritability with other people. Mild symptoms of these may become increasingly serious as you approach burnout. Similarly with physical difficulties such as insomnia, if these are left unaddressed, they can grow into severe burnout. So it's important to manage these early before they worsen. Number three, not taking breaks. We said burnout occurs from prolonged stress with work. This may happen when you work harder and forget to take breaks in the process, maybe pressured by external forces or personally driven to achieve success. But if you keep working yourself to the bone without any proper breaks, you may be putting yourself in danger of burnout. Taking a vacation might bring you some temporary relief, but it's better to take regular breaks from work and try to recharge. Number four, keeping your problems to yourself. Burnout has also been traced to working conditions that cause stress, such as unreasonable time, pressure, and workload expectations, unfair treatment, lack of role clarity, and lack of communication and support from a manager. If you feel as though you're being treated unfairly at work, or if expectations are unclear, you should discuss these issues with your manager, supervisor, or a trustworthy person of authority that can help you. Keeping these issues to yourself and tolerating poor work conditions will likely lead to burnout. It's important to communicate these problems with the appropriate person. While this can seem daunting, you can raise your concerns in a professional and polite manner. Number five, staying in the wrong job. Sometimes the main problem may turn out to be that you've been feeling stuck or trapped in the wrong position or even the wrong job. Clarity of your current roles can help you figure this out. Your current job might not provide the right learning opportunities for you or the career growth that you desire. Perhaps it doesn't challenge you enough in aspects that you're interested in improving on, or maybe you're overqualified for your job and are simply lacking stimulation or a chance to flourish. We might not be able to choose our dream job, but assessing your needs and exploring options may lead to greater fulfillment or at least help you figure out the way forward. And number six, neglecting personal life. By constantly working hard and pushing yourself, you may have neglected your personal life. By directing all your time and energy toward work, you may grow weary of the same people and environment. Making a point to set aside time for your personal life relationships personal hobbies and interests, and me time is essential for your mental health. Attending to your personal life is part of taking a break from your work and recharging. Otherwise, you may grow increasingly cynical about your job and the people you work with as you move closer to burnout. Although burnout is not defined as a medical condition, a qualified mental health professional can help you overcome it. Please do not hesitate to reach out to one for professional guidance. Do any of these habits resonate with you? Have you found ways to prevent or combat burnout? Let us know in the comments below and please share this video with others who you think it might help. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. Until next time, Psych2Goers.
take care and thanks for watching.